Hello, this is Carmen at the Featherweight Shop. Today I want to address uh, a few common issues that happen with the uh, stitch length lever. One of those, and the first one we'll address here, has to do with the lever itself becoming loose to where it will turn, and uh, it's obviously not supposed to do that. In order to do this uh, repair, and it is pretty easy, you need to remove this screw here and this screw here. And you want to make sure that you use a proper size uh, screwdriver that will fit uh, and not damage the head of the screw and also will fit in there and not slip off and, and scratch the machine. Okay, once you have removed those screws, you can make this repair leaving the uh, plate uh, on the machine. It doesn't have to be completely removed. And the issue why this is happening is that this nut right here has become loose and it just needs it just needs tightened now that's a quarter inch nut uh, however most of your uh, wrenches with a common set of, uh, of wrenches you know just from the hardware store are going to be too big to get in there even if it's a, a quarter inch just the the whole width of the the wrench itself is too wide they do make little mini wrenches like this and that's kind of what you need in a pinch you could use something like needle nose pliers but you would want to probably put some painters tape or something here on the edge of your machine to protect the uh, the finish so with the with the lever in its proper uh, horizontal point here you would go ahead and start tightening that tightening that until it, it's tight and now it, it won't turn and that's what uh, that's what it takes to do that put your plate back on and the two screws in place and you've now fixed the lever okay now just for informational purposes uh, if you have a black featherweight it's gonna have one of these three stitch length uh, plates on it uh, the first the earliest being this chrome one uh, Singer eventually went away from that. I'm assuming it's because uh, the numbers for your stitch length are hard to read, uh, just engraved on the chrome. The next one and most common is this one here. Uh, numbers are easier to read. And this one you won't find too often, but this is off of a black side machine. And so, anyway, just a little bit of history type information on those. The next thing we're going to address is what to do if the uh, lever itself is hard to move. So I'm going to explain a little bit how it works, the different pieces. For this illustration, I've taken the plate completely off so that you can see the different parts. Now this is not something that actually regularly needs oiled. Um, however, most of the issues that would occur of this being too tight is because it would, probably was oiled at some point in time and then that oil um, kind of varnished up and got you know sticky and hard on there and it makes it hard to move the lever um, set this aside just a little bit I'm gonna show you I've got uh, parts here of the lever and I'll just show you how it works a little bit this is the main arm that is going uh, up and down in the machine and the lever uh, when you raise and lower the lever it's moving that arm up and down and that's what's going to cause your machine to make shorter stitches longer stitches and then all the way up it's going to go in reverse uh, this screw here goes through the housing of the machine and you can see that right here um, by uh, but you're going to have to remove your hand wheel to make any adjustments to that and um, it's got a little three kind of a three-eared uh, washer back there that is providing pressure up against the machine and that's really um, that's really keeping everything tight um, and providing that tension when you do that so when you raise and lower the lever um, you can you can see that the washers not moving but the screw is part of this whole unit and so that's why the screw itself is moving there now, uh, if we were to tighten this, you know, let's say that the, the lever was too loose and as you were using your machine, it just, the stitch length just started changing and that, that can happen if this is loose. And so you would tighten that, but you're only going to be able to tighten it so far because as this, as this goes through the housing of the machine, 
it bottoms out up against this piece here. So it's only going to get so tight. So the answer is not necessarily just to tighten it more because if the ears have become flattened on this little washer, uh, you can tighten it you know, all you want and it's not, it's not going to help. But usually if it's loose, just tightening this will, will take care of that and it adds a little pressure. Um, but if it's stiff, it's usually because of oil has been put back here and uh, also on the on the inside here so we get that into focus and that and that oil that's turned into varnish is just making it hard to hard to uh, hard to adjust so the first thing we want to do is to clean this a little bit and um, I'll show you that in the next step so in order to clean this you're going to want to if you've got varnish in there you're going to want to put a little kerosene uh, in here and then also around this area here, wiping up, of course, any excess that, uh, that would drip down. But if you put some kerosene in there and then work the lever up and down, you should get kind of get rid of that old that varnish and then you could put a drop of oil in there. Now, as far as oiling it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put oil where the uh, resistance points are and so that would be one drop here and then a drop let's see if I can show you a drop right here kind of in this crack because that's where as you move this lever up and down it's meeting resistance as it's touching the edge of the the machine housing there and then also a drop of oil here and that, that should take care of um, the stiffness. It does need, it, you know, these levers by nature uh, and because of the pressure of that washer back there, there's a, they are a little bit stiff and that's what you want because you don't want this to move while you're sewing. That way your, your stitch length will remain uh, consistent. And just to be clear, you can make all of these uh, adjustments, uh, lubricating, etc., with this plate still on 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 the shaft here, and just let it hang down here. You don't have to completely remove the shaft and take this off in order to do that. You can get to all these by leaving it there. I've only taken it off so that you can see uh, a little bit clearer in the video. And we hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, Bill. Uh, feel free to shoot us an email, uh, ask us a question on Facebook, or give us a call here in the shop. Have a good day.